This is the plaintiff, Nelson Puckett. He says he brought his baby, his red Mustang, to the defendant's car wash, and the machine ripped his antenna off the car. The defendant's claiming he's not responsible for the damage. He says he is responsible, so here they are. He's suing for $1,115.09, the cost of the damage. This is the defendant Raul Altamirano. He says the plaintiff left his car wash and returned two days later claiming damage. As a courtesy, they checked the 16 surveillance cameras and found they did nothing wrong and nothing happened to his car when it went through the machine. He hates to disappoint a customer, but he's not responsible. He's accused of bending it the wrong way. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant's car wash ripped his antenna off his sweet cherry Mustang. But the defendant says the plaintiff waited two days before complaining. It's the case of bad reception at the car wash. Let it please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Okay, Nelson Puckett. Yes, ma'am. You are suing Pristine and Clean. I love that name. Uh, car wash represented here by Raul Altamirano. All right, for $1,115.09, the estimate for damages to your car that you say happened at their car wash. Tell me what happened. Uh, well, first I want to say my, I'm very passionate about my car. Uh, my friends and my family call it my mistress. Um, mistress? I, I've always taken the car. You, you should be washing that thing by hand. <laughs> well, the, the reason I, I take it to this car wash is because they do such a great job. And um, I recommend it to my friends. Uh, but this isn't a, a touchless car wash. This is these are actual friction. Friction based. Car wash. Right. Okay. Well, on uh, March fifteenth, I took it to uh, to the car wash. I, I paid uh, to have it done. I turned the car over to them. Uh, they took it through the machine. When it came out, uh, I went over and I, I got in my car and I drove home. Uh, my antenna is on the right hand side. That's why I didn't notice it until I got home. When I got home, I looked at it uh, and did, it's not the antenna was broke or anything, the whole base and everything was was pulled right out. Uh, I have pictures to show the damage. Okay. Um, I went back to them uh, a couple of days later because I Why had to Why do you go back a couple of days later but notice I, it right away? Because it I sounds to, like you didn't notice it for a couple of days if you don't go back till a couple of well, days. Well, I noticed it later that day, but right. I had to go to Except work. Except for that the first evidence that you say something to them is a couple of days later? Because I had to work. You have a phone? I called them. Do you have and, uh, any evidence that you called them? Only my phone record. Uh, Can I see your phone record? I don't have my phone record. According to you, you don't hear from him until two days after the car wash? Two days after the car wash. When That's I critical in this case. That's sort of a very important aspect of this case. I kept on getting a voicemail. So you called them and there'll be evidence of you repeatedly calling them, but you didn't bring it to court? No. So you go over there a couple of days later and yeah. then what? I, I spoke to uh, the manager and he told me to fill out a claim and he took pictures of it. And he said that uh, he would look at the videos to see what, what happened. Did you look at videos? Yeah, we did. We put it onto a claim report where the actual owners also look at the videos. Okay. And uh, we seen that, no negligence of the car wash, wash the whole process. Did you process. actually have a video of his car going through the car wash? Unfortunately, because of the date, I don't. But I made a video of the same made and model going no, through the no, car wash. No, no, but I'm, I'm saying you actually at one point in time had a video of his car going through the car wash? Yes, ma'am. Why didn't you keep it? He erases it after a week. I know, but this is the one of the ones where, I mean, I can understand why they erase the thousands that nothing mm -hmm. happens, but this is one of the ones where a guy is making a claim against you. So that's one you should like copy and keep. Why wouldn't you guys do that? I understand, because we were secure what happened. We didn't mistreat the vehicle or anything. We didn't yeah, know we I understand, to be but you know you're in a court of law now and you gotta, you gotta make me secure. I understand that. So bad idea, right? Next that. time you're gonna tape off the tape and make sure that you keep the evidence, yeah. right? Totally. That would be a good idea, totally. right? Yeah. If you have a tape showing categorically absolutely nothing happened at your car wash, that would be awesome in court, yeah, right? Totally. I agree. Because when you don't bring it to court, it makes it sound like something did happen in your car wash. I understand. Looks bad for you. I agree. What are we going to do with the fact that two days, don't smile. What are we going to do with the fact that two days passed? What do we do about that? I don't know. Ignore it? Pretend that ah, you were busy, you were working, the phone lines were all busy every minute of the day. What did you bring me? A video of what, a similar make and model? It's a similar make and model. I got it on my phone here if you want to see it. Yeah. It's turning on. Let me see the... Um, 
the estimate of the damages and the pictures of the damages, please. Now, according to you, every time you've gone there, and you've gone there how many times before this? I've been there at least 100 times. 100? <laughs> I have five cars. Did you say 100? Yes. Okay. That every time you've gone there with this car, the employees unscrew the antenna? I, I, from the lobby, I got pictures of the lobby. You could see the car coming in, and uh, they usually take the antenna off. So, the defendant let this surveillance video erase. Does that make it suspicious enough that the defendant should lose this case? Hell yeah. Why do you say? Because why would they erase it if they If they're not guilty. Yeah, if they're not guilty. But what do you think? Uh, I think that the car wash should pay the defendant for. Is it too suspicious that they let it erase? Yes, it is. Why wait so wait two days and, and it goes five days and erase the tape? That makes no sense. It does make no sense to me too, going inside the courtroom. Why wouldn't you just take the antenna off? or make sure they do before it goes through if it's your baby. I Like if I was your mistress, I'd demand better treatment. Yes. <laughs> I demand that you pay attention to me in those well, two days. I would demand that you take my antenna off when it needs to be off, you know? Uh, your Honor, I've been there so often that uh, I, I stand in the lobby, there's a button that you can push for extra soap. Uh, and I've seen my car go through so many times that I've always seen him take the antenna off. This time I wasn't paying that much attention. Oof. So there's some scratches on the car, and there is a completely missing mount antenna and mount. Now, you folks have some sign you wanted me to take into yes, consideration? Yes, yes, ma'am. All the disclaimer forms we have all over the property. Here's also the video. Do you guys normally take unscrew the antennas? I'm not aware of that, and you can see that on the disclaimer form too. Yeah. While every effort is made to ensure that your vehicle receives the utmost care, the facility uses a friction type wash process. We cannot be responsible for damage to vehicles resulting from the following. Aftermarket accessories, prior vehicle damage, loose or damaged vehicle parts, open windows, sunroofs, soft tops, hoods, fenders, bumpers, antennas, and so on. <laughs> That's pretty vague. Antennas and so on? So on. How about antennas? Is that vague? Well, it's if, it's one thing if the, the the antenna was damaged, but they it ripped out the whole mount. You know, I have a couple of problems. I and you know, one of my problems is that when I look at this, I can't imagine where the heck else something like this would happen other than at a car wash. I understand that? You know what I'm saying? But it's it, um, it bothers me. It bothers me on a couple of different fronts because. I really wish that you'd been on the receiving end of the car wash and had paid attention to your baby and noticed the nicks that you're suing for here today to the tune of $1,000 and noticed the missing antenna. Um, you know, two days passed. How do I know you didn't take it somewhere else and this happened somewhere else, you know? When two days pass and there's, there's a disclaimer, I'm supposed to ignore all those things combined and just say, well, it sort of feels like it probably happened there, so you got to pay him a thousand bucks. I just can't do it, and I and I, I feel bad about it because I tried calling them. Yeah, you know I don't want to hear that. That that I'm not going to buy at all. Verdict for the defendant. Both sides, stay where you are, please. Well, I feel bad for the plaintiff's mistress. What, what's your reaction to the outcome in this case? I don't think it was fair. I think the disclaimer is unfair. Is there any chance that you lost this antenna before well, you went in there? No. No, it, it happened there. It was there. All right. Okay. All right. Correct. Head right down this way. All right. He's been there hundreds of times before. You've probably lost yourself a good customer here. Um, I feel sorry about that. You know, we have all disclaimer forms. We're performing a service to the best of our abilities. And What do you think happened to his antenna? I, perhaps he was mistreated from before. Because like he said, he's been there so many times that everything has been fine before. I don't know why this time- It was lost in the car wash. You would have found it in there, right? Totally. Did you find it? I did not find it. No. Pardon me? The bottom line here, you got to walk around the entire car before you leave the car wash. Once you drive off the lot, you're going to be in big trouble trying to prove they did any damage. And that will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.